Hi, this is Teacher Nicole at Literacy Pittsburgh. In the last video, I read Lydia's job during the pandemic. If you didn't watch it, watch that video, Lydia's job during the pandemic. Today, we will talk about phrasal verbs with up. End up, keep up, meet up, bring up something, or bring something up, pick someone up, or pick something up, catch up, come up with something. Let's look at the sentences from the story. Lydia ended up getting a job at Dollar Bank, even though she didn't have any experience as a bank teller. Let's think about it. Did Lydia get the job at Dollar Bank? Yes, she got the job. Was Lydia expecting to get the job at Dollar Bank? No, she was not expecting to get the job at Dollar Bank. Was Lydia surprised? Yes, Lydia was surprised. So if you end up doing something, you do something that was unexpected. You do something that is a little surprising. Keep up. Lydia hopes she can keep up with all of the changes. If Lydia keeps up, will she do her job well? Yes. If Lydia keeps up, she will do her job well. If Lydia keeps up, will she know about all of the changes? Yes. So if someone keeps up with something, they continue doing it well. Maybe you made a New Year's resolution to exercise every day. If you keep up with your resolution, you continue to exercise every day. If Lydia keeps up with the changes, she will know about the changes and she will continue to do a good job. Let's look at meet up. Lydia used to meet up with her friends after work for happy hour every week. If you meet up with someone, do you see them? Yes. If you meet up with someone, is it formal or informal? If you meet up, it's informal. If you have a doctor's appointment, do you meet up with your doctor? No, a doctor's appointment is a formal situation. You make an appointment and you go to your appointment. You meet up with friends, something informal and casual. Meet up is more informal and casual. Sometimes they meet up on Zoom to chat and catch up with one another. If you catch up with someone, do you play a game with a ball? No. You can catch a ball, but if you catch up with someone, you're not playing a game with a ball. If you catch up with someone, do you talk about your life? Yes. 
If you catch up with someone, you talk about your life. If you catch up with someone, is it someone you just met or someone you already know? It's someone you already know. You can catch up with someone you already know. If we catch up with someone, we update the person about what is happening in our life. For example, my sister lives in California and sometimes we go a few weeks or maybe a month and we do not talk. Then we talk on the phone and we catch up. I tell her about my life and she tells me about her life. We catch up. Brought up. Brought up is the past tense of bring up. Bring up something or bring something up. In this sentence, it says Lydia brought up the new bus schedule with Jim after dinner. Okay, so she brought up something. She brought up the new bus schedule. If you bring something up, do you talk about it? Yes. If you bring something up, you talk about it. If you bring something up, is it a new topic? Yes. If you bring something up, it is a new topic. Let's look at come up with something. The sentence from our story says, he told her not to worry. They would come up with something to make sure she got to work on time every day. If you come up with something, do you carry it up the stairs? Do you walk up the stairs and carry it up? No. No. If you come up with something, you do not carry it up the stairs. If you come up with something, do you have a new idea? Yes. If you come up with something, you have a new idea. If you come up with something, do you fix a problem? Yes. If you come up with something, you fix a problem. Remember in the story, Lydia had a problem with her new bus schedule. The new bus schedule would make her be late every day. So she and her husband came up with something to fix her problem. They decided that Jim would drop her off in the mornings and on some days he will pick her up after work. Pick someone up. If you pick someone up, do you use your arms and lift them off the ground? No. If you pick someone up, do you go to where they are and get them? Yes. If you pick someone up, you go to where they are and you get them. If you pick someone up from work, you go to their job and you get them and you take them home. Maybe you are somewhere and you need to go home. You can call and say, can you pick me up, please? Can you pick me up? That means I want you to come and get me and take me home. Okay. In the last slide, we talked about pick someone up. In this sentence, pick something up. On days when Lydia works late, Jim will pick something up for dinner at a local restaurant. If you pick something up for dinner, 
Do you lift it off of the ground? Do you take your dinner from the floor and pick it up? No. No. If you pick something up for dinner, do you buy it? Yes. If you pick something up for dinner, you buy it from a restaurant. Can you pick something up for dinner at a grocery store? Yes, you can pick something up for dinner at a grocery store. You can go there and you buy what you need for dinner. Okay. Pick something up. Okay, so these are the phrasal verbs with up from our story. Lydia's job during the pandemic. Make sure you can take the quiz at the bottom of this video. There is a link for the quiz. So take the quiz and we will talk about the quiz in our next class.